With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Channel. In the last video, we watched Smeagol's Art Study and Slowpoke's Weather Report. Oh, God, get off the cushion, please. I was so happy with you for most of the last episode, and then you did something to annoy me. And then I found that game again, and I couldn't afford it. But no matter, in this episode we're going to be going outside! But before that I showed at the end of the last episode that I bought Pokemon Pinball Petite. Now, I've been playing this a little bit off screen, but I'm going to show about three levels. The most basic level, um, the most up to date one, well, Basically level 1, level 5, and level 10. Now the weird thing about Pokemon Mini Petite is that it doesn't save your data. And that's very strange. But Pokemon Pinball Petite is actually one of the more fun ones. Really, Slow King's Judge isn't that fun at all. I just like it because it's got tennis in it. But it is fun. You have to use the Z button to control your flipper, which... I think is an awkward button choice, considering Pokemon Minis didn't have a Z button. You've got a time limit, so that's what your easiest level's like. Level 5, oh it does, it has registered a 5 points there, maybe that's saved. But certain elements of this game haven't saved, I can tell you that much. I hope the Z button doesn't sound too loud, because it is the loudest button on my controller. Okay, that's one. Oh, these sockets don't close. You've just got to get as many points as you can within the time limit. I see how it is, and five points was the score you had to beat. Okay, I'll show off level six, because level five was a bit different. This level is blind! I've only played five, ten, and one. So, let's play Pokemon Pinball Petite Blind, guys! This one seemingly has three holes, two of which are behind rocks, which you shatter by hitting the Pokeball at it. So we're using Diglett as a flipper, but there's five different flippers we can unlock. I've unlocked one of them off screen, and I've ran out of time. I'm not going to bother trying to beat that. I will just show level 10, because that works quite differently to the other games. We've got to catch Pikachu. So we can hit the Pokeballs towards Pichu, and then they'll throw it straight towards Pikachu. We just need to hit Pikachu with the Pokeballs, like we do in the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance Pokemon pinball games. And once we hit Pikachu enough, we will take it out, and then we can catch it in this Pokeball. So I've just got to hit it once more, then it collapses and dies. And we catch it in a Pokeball, and then all we've got to do after that is hit the ball into the hole. So can we do that? Oh, it's in the shape of a love heart. Pikachu love the for killing it! Come on, don't take too long, please. Hiya! I missed. I've got a minute and 14 seconds to do this. If I fail to do so, that'd be quite... Ah, oh, it was too early. So now that we've caught Pikachu, we can actually use him as a flipper. And I suppose I'll show that off. I'll do another level blind, guys. Isn't it exciting? Kapow! No, I missed. I missed again. Oh, I just know that the Z button's gonna be really loud. Come on, I've beaten this level before. And do it again, right? Oh, seriously now? I just wanna beat it. Ah! Oh, how? How even? I don't know what the noughts and crosses are for. Pichu, you're not being much help. I'm just narrowly missing the hole every time. Come on, I've got 30 seconds now. You can only hold the flipper in for so long and then it will come back out again. I wonder what would happen if I tried to do this level with Pikachu. That's interesting. But no matter, 17 seconds, come on Diglett. Don't let me down. Ah, no, I missed. Ah, not strong enough. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two... Oh, oh, no! Time's up. Never mind. Let's try using the Pikachu flipper on a... No, I accident... I can press B, right? Good. 
Level three, that should probably be... Oh, I didn't unlock Pikachu because I didn't beat the level. Well, in that case, that will do for the Pokemon Mini today. Yes, I would like to stop playing Pokemon Pinball Petite. And instead, I'm going to put down the video games and go outside. What kind of blasphemy is this? What, most of the action will happen in the yard, but first I'm going to head to the front door. There's a, f a little bit to do outside there. It is a bus stop outside, and we will be riding the bus later on in the game, but not right now. So we've got a Bulbasaur and a Hitmonlee. As I said during Slowpoke's weather report, unless I forgot, because I did record it twice, depending on the weather, the Pokemon outside your house will be different. But what happens to the soles of Hitmonlee's feet at the instant of impact when it is kicking? Now they harden, soften, or become ticklish. They probably harden. Because if they softened, they wouldn't do much damage. And if they became ticklish, that would just make the whole Pokemon weak and vulnerable. So, you've seen two different kinds of nice cards. The stationary ones and the motion ones. If you answer a trivia quiz correctly, you'll get the best kind of motion card. Not only will it move, but it also makes the Pokemons cry. I always thought Hitmonlee's cry was a bit feminine and weak for it, because it's supposed to be a fighter, which is named after Bruce Lee. But Pikachu is chatting with Bulbasaur. Let's see if I know his trivia quiz. Some of the quizzes are fairly hard, but this one is filled with nutrients. There's lots of advertisements for TV shows in the background even though they haven't actually gone on air yet. If you look on the far right, there's a spoiler for a channel which will be unlocking tomorrow, and the one to the left of Slowpoke, so that's a new one as well. Off screen, I did report to Professor Oak, and he did say that there'd be some more channels at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So we'll be doing, we'll be watching those in the next episode. But I haven't actually unlocked them yet because I'm recording on the same day as I recorded part 5. So let's go to the yard. There's much more we can do outside in the yard. We can talk to lots and lots of Pokemon. And we can have a little play with Pikachu. But the first thing I'm going to be doing... Whoa, you're close! Uh, what's this basket? Pikachu, investigate the basket for me. Sergeant Peaks. Peeks a lot. Peek in the basket. Oh, no, have a look. Okay, Lady Bird. Oh, whoa. Came out of nowhere. He's looking at the basket. Is he going to do anything with it? Will you calm down? Okay, Pikachu's not doing much with the basket. So let's head to this planting garden. Now, it was until a previous recording of this episode back when I recorded three in a row and then I realised the first one was a failure. I completely forgot this was in the game and I'm not sure if I've ever completed it. But I'm gonna try. This is the planting. You don't actually have to do anything. Pikachu will do it all for you. But he plants a flower seed and he picks up the whale pail, which was an item in Pokemon Ruby version, Pokemon Sapphire version and Pokemon Emerald version, which amuses me. And he'll water the plants and I expect we need to check up on these plants regularly and they'll presumably grow. Wonder what it will grow? It may grow faster if it's watered every morning. Morning? I don't do mornings. But afternoon, I might manage that. So, Pikachu's glancing around. Now let's talk to these two Pokemon that we have here. Or, look, this little flower. Pikachu, Pikachu, he's checking the bucket. Don't be sick. I didn't find anything. Pikachu, look at this flower for me. He's making a bit of a whale. What's he doing? on it. Oh, looking around. It's a bit boring, actually. Come on, follow me and check this little flower. Everybody loves the flowers, unless you're allergic. Ooh, sky blue. My favorite girl's name and one of my favorite shades of blue. My favorite color is a, is a really, really faint purple, like almost white, but ever so slightly purple. What? Pardon me. Why? I don't know, I just chose it. So, Pikachu, you... No, you're not doing much today, are you? Oh, whoa, 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 angry face. Okay, I didn't say you're not doing anything. You're being a wonderful... Hopip's got a tail? I didn't even know Hopip had a tail. 
tail of the toaster. We saw it coming. But why do Hoppip Club gather in a cluster? It's to prevent being blown away, because they're quite light little things. Yes, you see, this isn't being the episode where I yell at Pikachu for being an annoyance. No. This is the episode where I'm happy, and I talk to all the Pokémon merrily, and I play with Pikachu, and oh, look how happy he is. Indeed. So, there's probably more things I should check on the ground, but I'm going to head to Springleaf Field. Not only does the weather affect the different types of Pokémon you'll find, but the time of day will also affect it. And I tend to do a lot of late night recordings, so maybe I'll show that off as well. Let's have a little chat with Torchic Torchic! Pikachu's already buddy with this Torchic, because we saw them together at the start of the game. But it's still going to put us through a grueling quiz. Um, um, it's probably not a thousand degrees. I'm gonna go for 90. That rings a little bell. I don't actually own a bell. Damn! Torshik, you're supposed to be Pikachu's best buddy. Just give me the card. Fine, we'll talk to Blossom instead. Maybe one day I'll get that card from Torshik. I still haven't actually bought any nice cards from Shop and Squirtle. So when Blossom gather and seemingly dance, what are they said to be doing? It's a ritual to store to summon the sun. I know this one and you will give me your card. Happy birthday! Here's a card. Looks pleasant. Let's have a look at the motion. We motion plus. Got a Wii Remote Plus coming in the mail. Oh, annoying. It's a fabulous shade of pink. There's a hole here. The hole will actually be used for something reasonably important in the future. But right now, it doesn't really do much. I think it needs to be night time for anything important to happen with the strange hole. He's not going to find anything I don't th Oh, no, he did find something. He found a ball. He brings it towards us, right? Yep, he just wears it as a hat and then it appears back in his hand. We get to play catch. Gonna train you like an Olympian. So let's play catch, musical note. So, pick up the ball with A, hold it down, fling it by pressing A. And then Pikachu became happy. Then he'll go pick it up and he'll throw it back to you. Eventually, Pikachu won't be able to catch the ball. You'll throw it too far for him, but for now, let's just have some leisurely play. We'll throw it back to him casually. So, Pikachu, if you're supposed to... Where are you going? Oh, he's picking a different location. So, if you're supposed to be my pet, why don't you play fetch? That throw was too far away. More like Pikachu is too lazy. If you click the ball, you can play again, but I don't really feel the need. So, indeed, this has been a nice, pleasant episode. So I'm going to close things off by watching a bit more Shop and Squirtle and see if we can get any more Pokemon mini-games. Oh, I feel so relaxed and happy when playing Pokemon Channel. It's nice. Not to have to shout at Pikachu for being a prat. There's Hoppip's tail. Weird, it's like a little dangly bit that's not meant to be part of it. With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's tail. Tail of the Hoppip. All right, turning the TV on. You can hear my disposition. So relax. These are the placeholders for the channels coming tomorrow. All right. Shop and Squirtle. So I discovered a little trick with Shop and Squirtle off screen. If they're selling an item that you don't especially want, just go to another channel and then come back to it and they will have moved on to the next item. So what is the item? It's a cobble pass. That is something we will need to be able to take the bus. It's a lifetime use. So yes, this is definitely something I want. Immediate delivery. I don't know if we'll be going to Cobble Coast in the next episode because we'll have some new channels to look at. 
where I'll inevitably get the yell at Pikachu again. Look, Cobalt B, Cobalt Pass, and B, another relaxed one, right? Pokemon Channel's got two clear distinct stuff. Oh, now we got the Viridian Pass as well. And that allows me to bring up a point. You may remember that I called an episode the Kanto Open Tennis Tournament. Well, it's never explicitly said that Mintail of the Tosa Town is set in Kanto, but because you can go to Viridian Forest, it's pretty likely that this area is set in the Kanto region of Pokemon. And again, it's only 10p! I'm glad I went to Shop and Squirtle. And what's the final item? It's a green Pokemon Mini, I'm not bothered about that. So, aren't we all happy and relaxed? This has been Tale of the Toaster, and I will see you in the next episode for more shouting at the television.